Hey guys, welcome to Just Face It. I'm Joe Fazio and today we're going to be talking about this little beauty, the wing base. So I received the wing base about a week ago. Uh, Andy sent me, uh, actually this is his actual base, which is also the prototype. Uh, so when I first opened the box, this is what I saw. This particular base has a mahogany body, a very, very nice bird's eye maple fingerboard. Okay, it's got a 16 inch scale. It's about 21 and a quarter inches long, about I think seven, 10 and seven, seven eighths uh, in inches wide. Okay, it's got a uh, Bartolini X4 soap bar pickup. And this is your volume. And this is your tone. All right, it's a passive pickup. This is the cavity of the base. Um, there is room to put an active preamp if you wanted to in there. And this is actually the contour, so it's one solid piece of mahogany with the bird's eye maple. And again, it's also available in a black limba body and rosewood fingerboard. So you can get any combination you want at no extra charge. Uh, you can also get them in lined or unlined fretless versions. Uh, the six string he's going to be making is available only in this combination, which is the mahogany and the uh, maple, which I think is beautiful. When I first plugged it in, I'm not used to passive pickups. I do typically, I mean, all my bases have, uh, have active pickups. I do like that more of that growl. But I was actually pleasantly surprised at the tone possibilities I was able to get from one pickup and one tone control. Um, it, it's, you know, you get basically three different types of sounds. Um, so you can get a sweeping sound from, from, um, from more of a staccato uh, bridge pickup setting to, to basically if you wanted to just walk a line right, you know, right over the fingerboard. One thing that this did for me uh, as a bass player was it taught me to think outside the box again. Because now, even though I've, I've been playing bass for 20 some odd years and you know, you've played one bass, you've played them all. I kind of felt like the same way I did when I picked when I first picked up a, or tried an upright bass. Uh, it forces you to think outside the box. It forces you to play things that you typically don't try on your regular electric bass. So I thought that was cool. Once I got used to just the the general fingering and and just the general feel of the bass, um, I fl you know this ideas were flowing out and and just using it as a practice tool was just amazing um, but again you know Andy builds this and wing bass build, builds this as a practice tool but you there's no reason why you couldn't use this at live at a gig I really hope you guys enjoyed this demo and review of the brand new wing bass. Uh, I had a lot of fun actually working on this and it's going to be uh, really sad to actually have to send it back. But I am ordering one in a six string so we'll have to wait for that one to come in. But again, I hope you enjoyed it and remember, just bass it. Mm -hmm.